Hi all, uh, this is Vitaly from Venter Tech and today I'm going to show you how to work with Venter App and JS1 barcodes. So let's see. So here we have a box of uh, Coca-Cola, so four items inside and JS1 barcode on top of it. So let's scan it. I already opened the Linux document and scan this long barcode. So as you might see, we have all the information right on the on this screen from this product. So it's Coca-Cola obviously, lot number, expiration date, uh, destination location right now is a stock, we can change it. And the only thing that we need to scan is a package. So let's put this in the package and scan the barcode. The package was applied, so super good. Quantity four, yes, it's a box of four. So the only that we need to do is just click on apply quantity button, or we can scan the validate barcode as well as an auto barcode interface. You should be familiar with this. Now transfer is validated. Okay, right now let's move to the second case. We are going to do an inventory of this nice Apple TV uh, 4K. Uh, as you might see, uh, there is already a GS1 barcode here. So let's scan it to get information about this product. As you might see, we have a, a product name, it's Apple TV 4K. Uh, we have a serial number for this item and we also can see a product owner information. So Venter application works with many GS1 uh, fields and information that you can get from GS1 barcodes, including product owner. Um, so Let's just confirm the source location from where we are going to make this inventory. In this case, it's shelf one. So we are staying next to this location. Uh, all information is filled in. Theoretical quantity is one and quantity of product is also like one. So all that we need to do is just to confirm clicking on update inventory button. Um, don't forget you can scan the validate barcode just to do not click on the button and communicate with the screen. Okay, let's move to the third case. Uh, in this case, we are going to move a pallet with a, a few items inside it. So we are actually done, uh, don't care about what is inside. We just want to take the whole pallet and move it to the needed destination location from one to another, as simple as that. So let's try to scan this uh, GS1 um, barcode on this pallet and let's see what's happening. So as you might see on the screen, we have a source location, it's shelf one. The package uh, number is also presented here. So, and we just need to scan the destination location. So let's move it to the uh, another location and scan it. So all the information that's not needed is disappeared from the screen. Now we can see only the, need the needed information. So it's like a part of adaptation design that we have inside Venter application. So we just see the source location, package name, and destination location. In this case, we are sure that we are moving the whole package, in our case is a pallet, and all items inside this um, pallet package. So on uh, all that we need to do is just click on the confirm button and make this move. Let's do it. So this is it. We are ready to move next items, pallets, or packages, whatever you want. Well, this is it for today. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe on our channel to do not miss any new video. Um, here we're publishing a lot of uh, useful information related to the Odoo, Venter app and all this stuff. Hope to see you very soon, guys. Bye-bye.